What's up guys, War here. Today we're gonna go over the Crusader on what you need to upgrade for your rare weapon to a legendary and what to spend your blood shards on at the start of season 27. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so the Crusader is actually kind of complicated in a way because you have a lot of options. Now, in the beginning of almost every season, the Crusader really doesn't have a really good start when it comes to weapons or you know gambling because there's just so many options but i'm going to give you what i think is going to be the best options that you could do with the crusader if you are going to play one next season so again guys also we are going to provide a full guide into exactly how to level up and go through the entire process i'm just giving you these quick tips on what to use these uh mats for to upgrade and as always don't forget that at the start of every season you're going to have the challenge rift don't do it until after the season starts and then you'll get all the mats that i'm gonna put up on screen now and you're going to use all these mats to do all these upgrades that we're going to talk about in the video okay so let's jump into it so first things first when it comes to the crusader is you're going to have two-handed flails okay you're going to have two-handed flails and you have a bunch of options now here's the tricky part about why the crusader doesn't really have the best start and i'm gonna urge you guys to play a different class and then make a crusader because with the two-handed flails you have about eight options when you upgrade a rare weapon to a legendary and then on one-handed flails you're gonna have about seven options roughly to uh, upgrade and you're the best out of each is only three so but let's talk about it if you are gonna play crusader here we go so starting off you're gonna want a two-handed flail you're gonna want to upgrade it and you're gonna be looking for the golden flints the fate of the fell and then akan's late leniency leniency now these three are the main ones that you want because they're all damage buffs so golden fleece sweep attack restores six ray or wrath and then increase damage then you have fate of the fell heaven's fury gains two additional rays and does increase damage we want all damage buffs to help boost you all the way to level 70. the third one is akan's latency because enemies hit by blessed shield increases damage of blessed shield by 36 percent for three seconds now when it comes to these three the one that you're going to want is golden flints because sweep attack is relatively early heaven's fury i think you get later because you get sweep attack at five and then you get heaven's fury much later at 30. so heaven's fury is just way too late when it comes to the abilities now this does help when you do get to 30 it'll help give you that extra push but sweep attack you get right at level five getting to level five is pretty easy when you by the time you get to your canine's cube you should be almost level five if not level five so golden flints is definitely the one to go to and then the last one accounts latency this one's okay for blessed shield like i would almost put it second because you get blessed shield real early as well so blessed blessed shield 20 not bad but so you definitely want golden flints for sure for sure this is the main one now on to one-handed flails again guys i think you got about six or seven options when you're upgrading the rare items but here's the ones that you're going to want so you want johan's argument uh falcon's foot and then you want dark light okay so johan's argument increases the attack of bless uh it's attacks attack speed and damage of bless hammer by 100 percent, which is really good uh the falcon's foot reduces the cost of bless shield increases damage and then dark light fist of the heavens now casts twice so in order i would probably go with johan's then the falcon's foot and then dark light now you're going to get some other options as you end up getting stuck with them you know i'm sorry guys but i warned you there's so many options when it comes to the weapons for the crusader but these are the ones you're going to want because these also pair really well with the uh what we're going to be gambling for so definitely go with one of these three if you get them now on to gambling there's a lot of different items that you can get with the crusader but at level one, the best way to do it is to go get bracers. And you want the Gabriel's Van Braces because your blessed hammer hits three or few enemies. It restores wrath. Really good. Very easy to get. It's 100% chance if you get a legendary bracers that this is it. Next, I would go for shields because you got two options here at level one. It's about a 50% chance. You got denial. Each enemy hit by sweep attack increases the damage of your next sweep attack by a bunch of damage. And then guard of johanna bless hammer damage is increased uh for three the first three enemies it hits so either one of these is really good in combination of any of these weapons so it's pretty good they pair up really well if you get golden flints and then you get denial you're set you can use this all the way to 70. 
So those are the gonna options that I'm gonna give you for gambling. Now, once you get to like level 33, level 23, there's some other bracers that you can gamble for, which are really good options if you wanna hold on to your uh, blood shards. But this is what I would go for starting off if you're gonna play the Crusader. I know the Crusader is a really tough class to play at the start of a season. So again, I would definitely suggest playing something else and then building into a Crusader later. But again, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support you guys have been given has been top notch absolutely fantastic in the diablo community you guys are the best and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace